What keeps most people from living to their full potential? I think the obstacles are both internal and external. It's really absurd to say to somebody, say a woman living under the Taliban, that uh, you know, it's because she hasn't developed her inner self. My gosh, I mean, the woman can't get an education, she can't uh, even get health care. She cannot develop herself, she cannot teach her daughters, she has to sort of hide herself so she becomes, rather than a human being, sort of this lump of cloth. So it's easy, you know, to be cruel to a lump of cloth. Uh, on the, so, so external obstacles are very real. I gave an extreme example, but there are still many dominator elements in our culture, and they are obstacles. On the other hand, uh, we also need to work on ourselves. My new book, The Power of Partnership, is really a manual for both personal and cultural transformation, because the two go together. And I believe that really trying to heal ourselves in what I call a domination system, it's like trying to go up on a down elevator. We have to change our, the web of relations around us, as well as changing how we relate to ourselves and our intimate relations.